Hey guys, it's Barrel Racer 2002 here, and today I'm going to be making another, or episode 3, episode 3, of RT videos. It's random things, blank. Creative name, right? So, today's episode is going to be on Dixie. It's actually horse related, isn't that a shock? Oh, I really need to keep, keep this channel horse related because it's slowly, slowly, slowly fading into just a random channel. Yeah, yeah it is. Don't, don't deny it. Don't, don't deny it. You subscribed to me for a reason. I know you did. <sighs> I'm just trying to get my channel out there and I am not doing that great. They're really not. But, back on topic. Um, yeah, so today's episode is going to be on Dixie. Yeah. Uh, I do have pictures of her that I will show you. Uh, I can't put them on my slideshow because iPhoto isn't working, so... I'm just going to log into my phonesy phonesy. I'm going to show you some picture pictures. Alright, people? Alright. Alright, so... I have, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six things that you most likely did not know about Dixie because I do not talk about her that much. Um, I did have another, I did, I did have another horse, but I had to sell her. She was 26 years old and couldn't barrel race anymore or couldn't jump, so I just had to give her away. She's just a pleasure horse now. She's not competitive. Just a trail rider. See, easy stuff. And I think she's a lot happier now. Let's begin. Number one is Dixie is an irregular paint. I have proof. Um, what I mean by irregular paint, you people probably know what I'm talking about when I say irregular paint. Um, she... Uh, she's not a normal paint. She doesn't have like these big splotches of different colors on her. She's just normal. She's beautiful. I love her. If I can find a decent picture, I will show you, but right now I am failing. Okay. I sort of have this, and I sort of don't. Alright. So... You can't really see this very well. This very well, like, okay, I'm gonna try. Can you see it? Can you? All right. So the reason she's called an irregular paint is because her face. She has a giant white mark on her face. She has a bald face, um, and then she has her back legs. Look here. She has two white stockings. And I love them. And then, if I can find a decent picture. Okay, I can't. See, that's her face. She has a bald face. Um, I can't find the picture of her little spot. Her spot is maybe that big. Um, kind of looks like the Hawaiian Islands. But, that's why she's called an irregular paint, because she's not normal. And that's what I love about her. She's just amazing. But, yeah, that was number one. And I spent a good four minutes on that. Fun. This is going to be a long video. I know I call her a horse, but... This is number two. I know I call her a horse, but she's actually classified as a pony because she is not over 15 hands. She is one inch. She is one freaking inch under being a horse. So I just qualify her as a horse. I'm just like, she has one inch off. She's perfectly fine. She's a horse to me. She's my baby. I don't care what you call her as long as it's nice. Because if you say something mean about her, I will hurt you. But she is 14.3 hands high. She seems a lot taller, sort of, in pictures. But like, her... Her withers are pretty low. I still have to get on my tiptoes to see over 
like over her back, but it's she's precious. Her markings, I just said that in number one, but this is number three. Her markings, she has a bald face, two back stockings, and that little Hawaiian Islands little thing little bobber. Her little spot. I don't know why they didn't name her Spot. Where did the name Dixie come from? I don't know. Um, number four, I think. Yeah, it's number four. Number four is her age. She is only six years old. She is very wise for her age. She, in fact, is very, very, very intelligent. She is probably the most intelligent horse in the barn. Other than Bandit, who breaks out of his stall every single day. Every single day. But she's very intelligent. I've done things with her. Not like bad things or anything like that. She'll put her foot up on, I'll show you. She'll put her foot up on her guardrail, that's what I call it. And I, like, I climb through there, like, when I'm mucking her stalls. When I'm mucking stalls outside. If I can find it. Alright. So, she would put her foot up on this rail, and I would push it down, and she'd bounce back, and she'd just look at me like, What? Just happened. And then she'd do it again. Until finally, after like ten times or so, every time I'd like touch her toe, she would automatically jump back. It's the cutest little thing. Her, her ears go forward and she's just kind of like, you did not just do that to me. It's cute. Um, her experience. She's an all-around horse. She's been trained in everything except for cutting and reining. She is main... Primarily a reining and jumping horse. I'm trying to work with her on jumping because her jump is like... <laughs> it's literally like that. It is a box. It's very sad. I tried to jump her in an English saddle. She's used to an English saddle. I've ridden her in English saddles before. But her jump is just like, okay, I'll go up and I'll flatten and I'll go down. It's... It's a sad jump, but she clears the jumps. It's she she looks like a hover horse. Like she'll jump and then automatically like her legs go under her. Like her back legs and her front legs go under and then she just automatically lands. It's like she'll go up, she'll fly, landing gear. It's wow. I just spent a good three minutes on that. Her disciplines her disciplines are barrel racing, I couldn't even list them all. Barrel racing, jumping, eventing, cross country. I'm trying I'm trying to train her in cutting, but she's not doing very good. Racing, she sort of does racing. She likes to compete. Like, I'll just ride her, and then if there's another horse like running next to her, she'll automatically want to go faster and faster, 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 faster until she beats them. So, I don't know what you'd qualify that. I don't qualify it as racing. But I kind of do because she likes race. I don't know. Um, barrels. Trying to train her in roping. She's not doing very well at that. Um, barrels. Eventing. Cross country. Dressage. Dressage. Cross country. Show jumping. She's, she does it all except for roping, cutting, and reining. Best I can describe it. She doesn't do endurance riding, though. She isn't very good at it. She, she can hold out for long periods of time. I've ridden her for extended periods before. But she doesn't enjoy endurance riding. The only reason I rode her for an extended period of time was because I felt that she didn't get what she was supposed to do. Because that was during one of our training sessions. When I was out in the arena alone and nobody was talking to me, so I didn't, like, stop or anything. Like, I would stop every once in a while in the shade, give her a chance to cool off, and I'd drink some water or something. And then we'd just keep going. Like, she can hold out, but she doesn't enjoy, like, competitive endurance. She has endurance, but she doesn't enjoy competitive, if that makes any sense. But yes, my children... That is six things, I think. I think. 
Six things you probably didn't know about Dixie, because I barely ever talk about her. Now, let's scroll through some pictures I took with her, okay? Okay. Okay, there's a couple stupid ones in here. Do not laugh. This one is probably the stupidest one. Yeah. Ah, wrong way. I like that one because it looks like she just has that little puff ball on the top of her head. <laughs> there. And then that one, she was trying to sniff my face. I love her face. Look at it. Kind of just looks like... Okay, comment down below what you think that marking on her face looks like. Because I, I don't know what it looks like. It kind of just looks like a rug. Yeah. Am I going the right way? Yes. See, she looks tall. She looks bigger than she actually is. Her eyeballs. That's me on Houston. Um, he's our draft horse. Yeah. <sighs> that happened. That indeed happened. <sighs> yeah, that happened. Make sure you rate, comment, and... <sighs> Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.